So this is going to walk us through the protocol that you'll use for the teacher demonstration when students would like to see the effects this protocol or what results from the protocol when we use it on some other substances. So the first thing they might wonder is how do we know what we got from those cells is DNA and it's not just some weird combination of the soap with the other stuff making that gooey substance. So we'll test some distilled water. So to do that we'll take our distilled water sample, put about 30 milliliters in there. It doesn't have to be exact. And I chose 30 milliliters because this is about the same amount of stuff that we had with that one strawberry. And just like with our strawberry or the other things we tested in the video, I had about 20 milliliters of our warm salt water. And we're just gonna do the protocol exactly like we did before. So we'll mush this together. There's nothing really to break up, but we'll do the same steps. And then we'll add some of that soap. Again, a, a teaspoonful or so. Doesn't have to be exact. And then we're gonna get the air out of this and mix it together just like we did with all of the other things we tested. We don't wanna get too many suds. And we're going to pour it through our strainer, even though there's not really anything to strain out. Just going to really highlight the fact that we're using the exact same protocol. And that's okay. And then we'll remove this. And we have our soapy mixture. To our soapy mixture, we're going to add our pinch of meat tenderizer. We will take a skewer and stir it very carefully to get that meat tenderizer mixed in. And now we have our ice cold isopropyl alcohol that we're going to carefully layer on top. About 20 milliliters. And you can see there is a layer, but you can't see it as much as with the strawberry because they're the same color. Now you will try to get DNA out, but as you can see, there's nothing solid in there. There's nothing we can scoop or spool. So the protocol that we used doesn't give us that substance just because it's mixing soap with a bunch of stuff. We, we didn't get anything out of that. So the next thing they'll wonder is, well, what if it's a different molecule? What if it's just the protein in the fish muscle or or beef muscle or whatever that's resulting in that substance we're getting at the end of the protocol. So in the, in the next demo, you take some protein powder, just plain protein powder mixed with water, a serving's worth like you're supposed to. I just mixed it up and stirred it. And we're gonna do the same protocol. So the same as before, we're going to add about 30 milliliters of the protein powder just because that's about how much strawberry we had. That's pretty good, I think. And then we'll add our warm salt water. About 20 milliliters. And like before, get the air out. Mush it together. Again, there's really nothing to mush up here. There's no cell walls. So I'm just mixing it so it's all mixed. And then we're going to add our tablespoon or so of soap. And we'll get the air out of the bag and mix it all up. We are going 
going to put it through the strainer. And you see we got a lot stringed through there. We'll take our pinch of meat tenderizer and we're gonna stir it up. And then finally, our last step, our isopropyl alcohol, carefully pour it in to layer it. the layer this time and you can see there's a kind of white layer on top whereas the bottom is still this whatever the color of the protein powder was so something did change here that's interesting and we'll try to spool it up and there's nothing to spool so while there was something that changed. Like the alcohol and the proteins did something together. It's nothing you can actually get or grab onto like you could with the DNA or the genetic material. So for this teacher demo, it's a good idea to have a, something that you can see through. So a plastic or even glass beaker so they can really see what's going on here. And there's something in there it's a little different something happened with our protocol unlike with our plain water but it's not something you can spool up like this example of the DNA which we definitely had something stringy that came out 